Well, the risks are having a whole class of people who are unemployed and not valued much because what they what they used to do is now done by machines. So some jobs are some jobs are elastic, others aren't. The non-elastic ones, I think people will lose their jobs. And what's going to happen is the extra wealth created by the increase in productivity is not going to go to them. Let's talk about something that's about to flip your work life upside down. Throughout history, we've seen some major game changers in how we work. The steam engine had people freaking out. Electricity changed everything. Computers? Total workplace revolution. But honestly, none of them hold a candle to what AI is about to do. Across every industry, from education to manufacturing, AI is quietly, but radically, reshaping how we work think, and produce. So, what happens when machines don't just help us lift heavy stuff, but actually start thinking with us, creating alongside us, and making decisions? Pretty wild to think about, isn't it? Well, buckle up, because that future isn't coming. It's already here. According to a report by McKinsey, AI could add $13 trillion to the global economy by 2030, boosting global GDP by about 1.2% per year. The World Economic Forum predicts that in the year 2025, automation and AI will create 97 million new jobs while displacing around 85 million, mostly in repetitive and administrative roles. AI adoption is growing rapidly. 77% of devices today use some form of AI, and over 80% of executives say AI is a top strategic priority. In sectors like healthcare, AI is expected to save over $150 billion annually by 2026 through improved diagnostics and efficiencies. In education, AI-driven platforms help personalize learning for over 100 million students globally. But it's not all rosy. The transformation demands reskilling on a massive scale. A staggering 375 million workers may need to switch occupational categories by 2030. That's nearly 14% of the global workforce. So what does this transformation actually look like? Let's explore the biggest changes AI is bringing to the global workforce. Top three ways AI is transforming the future of work. The automation revolution. In manufacturing, collaborative robots, or cobots, work safely beside humans. In healthcare, AI scans medical images and streamlines patient records. In retail, robots, stock shelves, and self-checkouts manage transactions. But what makes this tech revolution different is that AI isn't just coming for those repetitive assembly line jobs anymore. Nope, it's sliding into everyone's DMs, lawyers, doctors, designers, customer service reps, all those jobs we swore could only be done by humans with college degrees and years of training. Pretty mind-blowing, right? For paralegal, document reviewing is basically a nightmare, taking weeks of their life. Now, our AI buddy pre-analyzes everything and is like, hey, only worry about this 10% that's actually tricky. Paralegals are crushing triple the cases with AI and focusing on the juicy legal strategy stuff that computers still suck at. For a doctor, AI assistant can handle all the paperwork and screening routine cases, which means they can actually get to talk to their patients more and spend real time with complex cases who need that human connection. Medicine is becoming more personal, not less. And that brings us to the second massive shift that's already hitting us. The skills revolution. With AI, we're not just seeing job losses, we're seeing job shifts. Entirely new roles are emerging, from data scientists and AI ethicists to machine learning engineers and prompt designers. AI is creating fresh opportunities for those ready to embrace them. AI can, within a single domain, do a better job than humans in classification, prediction, and decision making. Many of the human jobs that fall into this category will be replaced by artificial intelligence. Here's where things get really interesting. The skills job market is basically getting flipped upside down. Skills we thought were super valuable are tanking. Things we never paid much attention to now suddenly worth their weight in gold. Here's the deal. As AI takes over all that routine brain work, the uniquely human stuff is suddenly worth big bucks. Let's break down what's hot and what's not. First up, synthesis and judgment. Basically, can you take information from everywhere, figure out what matters, apply some ethics, and make smart decisions that make sense in the real world? 
AI still kinda sucks at this, and if you're good at it, you're golden. Then, there's relationship stuff. Real empathy. Not that fake customer service kind, actually persuading people. And true collaboration. Turns out robots are still awkward at parties. Who knew? And here's my favorite, creativity with direction. Instead of making everything from scratch, can you be the creative director for your AI team? Like, hey AI, create something like this, but more blue and happier. That's a whole new skill set. Education is in for a wild ride. That four-year degree that costs as much as a house? It's facing serious competition from six-month credentials that teach you specific, valuable skills. We're moving from how much stuff can you memorize to what can you actually do? And honestly, it's about time. Hey, we want to hear from you. How are your skills changing? Are you going all in on tech abilities, doubling down on human superpowers, or trying to balance both? Drop your comment now and we'll share what everyone thinks at the end. Obviously, we're all figuring this out together. Now let's move on to the third biggest change. Economic transformation. You want to know where things get truly bonkers? It is when AI is supercharging the economy with productivity jumps that make previous tech revolutions look like minor upgrades. We're talking about tasks that used to eat up your entire Monday getting done while you're grabbing coffee. Three-week projects finished in two days. Analysis that took specialized teams now happening automatically overnight. It's creating insane value, but also throwing labor markets into a blender. It's like economic steroids, massive gains with some serious side effects we need to manage. Remember when personalized service meant someone remembered your name? Now, AI is enabling hyper-customization at massive scale. Your healthcare plan, education, entertainment financial advice, all tailored specifically to you without requiring an army of humans. Services that used to be for the ultra-wealthy are becoming available to everyone, which is both amazing and disruptive. The lines between industries are getting super fuzzy. Tech companies are suddenly healthcare providers. Car companies are becoming AI firms. Retail giants are now banks. When everyone has access to powerful AI capabilities, they can invade each other's turf like never before. First, AI is going to come replace the physical labor jobs, so truck drivers, farmers, factory workers, real trouble. Then it'll come for the sort of easier kinds of cognitive labor. Then maybe eventually like computer programmers, even a mathematician. And then, you know, way in the future or maybe never because maybe it's like magical and human, the creative jobs. And of course we can look now and say it appears like it's going exactly the other direction. But that was like really non-obvious, certainly to us. We started thinking we were going to build robots. And it still, in some deep way, sense to me, seems like it should be much easier to make robots than it is to make GPT-4. But here we are. I think with other job impacts, it's just going to be surprising. But I think the world will get way wealthier. We'll have a productivity boom and we will find a lot of new things to do. I want to leave you with this thought. Throughout history, every major technology shift has created more opportunities than it destroyed. The biggest wins have always gone to people who saw these tools not as threats, but as partners. Ways to offload the work they never wanted to do anyway, and focus on the stuff that makes them uniquely human. The most exciting careers of the next decade will be built by people who figure out how to dance with AI rather than compete against it. The future belongs to the collaborators. AI is already reshaping work whether you're paying attention or not. The question isn't if it will change your job, it's whether you'll be caught off guard or riding the wave. Now if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe for real talk on navigating the AI revolution. No hype, no fear mongering, just practical insights.